how to have a daily worship. The daily worship is not just when you come here. Actually, it's hourly, by minute, all the time. Wherever you are, you say, Lord, you are so wonderful. Always believe that, that He's truly that good. It's not make-believe. He is truly like that. So, all day long, that you will be loving God. When you eat anything, thank God for the wonderful food. And have this happen. Have this happen anywhere you are. Thank you, God. This habit has to be developed. It takes time to develop this habit of always saying, God is loving me. God is blessing me now. And I love you, Lord. You're so wonderful. So always declare the grace of God and then our response to Him. Oh, I like you, Lord. And sometimes it doesn't have to be words. I'm just using words to express it. But in the heart, I hope you develop this habit all day long. Have a heart to worship. This is one way. Another way is that very often when you wash dishes, when you sweep the floor, when you do many things, you'll be singing praise songs. You'll be praising God. That's another way. But when you sing, sing from your heart. Don't just, you know, sometimes people just sing the song very excited. And, and then they forget to sing it to God. When you sing it, sing it to God. So it's a daily worship that you can experience His presence. And how do you know that you're doing right? When you can feel the presence of God upon you, then you're doing right. And you can feel the peace of God coming upon you, then you're doing right. Yes, a question? That's not where you are up there singing. You told that about the music, because the keyboard was not in line with the air. When she worships. Right. Now, time and again, I go out when I see particularly worship. Can you speak louder, please? <clears throat> okay, I'm saying time and again when I go out, when I see worship particularly. And then I notice I'm not in line with the music, right. with, the, with the, the piano. Okay, it tends to have an effect in worship. Oh, yeah, it does. I can go, I can move on. And right. I notice I cut from there. Okay. Now, what to do is the pianist has to do part. I can show, demonstrate how to do that. For instance, I'm going to sing this song and I notice that people are not following the music. I'll change the piano. Just turn it off. Turn it off. Okay. So, the pianist has the responsibility. That means the group is not following. And then you play. Also can sing to sing our tune. Then you you can play a key. To help the people come back. So that's the job of the pianist. But it's best also the worship leaders should listen to the piano. For instance, I'm listening to the key. What key that is? So when I say spirit song, I will follow. Oh, this is the key of G, so I talk to the key of G. Oh, hallelujah. I listen to the piano before I start. So if you want to sing a song, if you don't know for sure the key, what if it has gone wrong? Then the pianist don't play. Or we can follow the piano, pianist's key. That the next verse, before when they end, and then you sing it to start, or play the note, da, 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 and then the team will follow and know that they have, uh, you know, they have gone to a wrong key. So just now this daily prayer, daily relationship, the praise and worship hourly, all the time. I always stay in that condition. I always stay in that condition. That's why, for me, when I pray, the presence of God will come quickly. And when I pray for people or lead worship, then people who are open can experience God's presence right away. That because I'm always in it. And then when I pray for people too, it's the same way. Uh, uh, when someone come up, I'll demonstrate. Anyone, especially those I have not laid hands on, you can come forward and demonstrate. 
some of the ones are new, it, it doesn't matter. Or anyone, anyone come forward, anyone, any person. So I have a daily, so I have a daily relationship with the Lord. When I pray for people, my spirit will ascend to me. This is the highest words of prayer. Father, thank you, Jesus. Oh Lord Jesus, you're with us. Your blessing, Pastor. Because I'm happy of worshiping God. So when I pray for people, I'm not using words. I'm praising God. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We adore you. We worship you. We love you. We need you. We need you. So, I'm actually praying for people in a worshipful way. And that's my whole day is like that too. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I'm just using very simple words. You're so wonderful, Lord. Hallelujah. And let my spirit be directed by the Spirit of God. And think of God's Spirit descending upon me. Oh, hallelujah. So it's daily life, and also when I pray for people, when I lead the meeting, when I'm preaching, I'm always like that too, the fire inside me. So I hope you, you say, yes, I want to walk with God like Enoch. Always walk with God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. So we experience everything to the Yes. Thank you. So many of us are going to be able to do it. I'm 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 and you know that it's not me pushing you. Because I always lay my hand like this. So I have pray for you. Hallelujah. So the whole day long, develop this worship, this prayer, this love for God. And God will like you and He will bless you. If you want blessing, don't just think about your difficulties. Think about how good God is for the whole daytime. Always think about the goodness of God. So when you're praising God, leading worship, you'll be talking about the grace of God. When you're praying for people, you'll be expressing the grace of God. When you're preaching, you're sharing, you're expressing the grace of God. That's the key to always showing, manifesting the love of God to praise of God. Thank you.
Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Thank God. So I hope you all stay in this worship all day long. And then when you're leading worship, you are doing that. It's not just by words, but it's in the spirit. And then be free. Learn to be free. Hallelujah. God is so good. Hallelujah. Use real ways, personal ways to express it. Don't just use don't, don't just use special terms like let's exalt him, horrify him, raise up his name, then people will hear these empty words. But use words saying, Oh God, you're so almighty. We want to come to you, bow down in front of you. You're full of power. Your power can bless us. Your power will come down today and change us. So when you talk about power, you use different ways to express it. Okay, God bless you all. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, if some of you, if some of you, I have not laid hands on you, you, feel free to come forward. But the rest, I, most of you, I have prayed for already. Uh, we didn't allow time. And tomorrow, in a, two more days, I will have training. Tomorrow, I probably will talk about how to handle problems. And, Maybe how to counsel people to face problems, daily life problems, worry and doubts and anger or family problems like that. And it takes time to describe that.